The idea of a force acting through a distance is explained through the concept of feel. So when we have the Earth hanging out here, what we think of as the gravitational field, uh, essentially Earth energizes a region of space around it, and any mass in that region is affected by Earth's gravity. So instead of the two masses interacting with each other, a mass actually interacts with the field. So if I put a second mass out here, so this is m1, and it could be the Earth, could be the Sun, could be any mass, and this is m2, then when we talk about the force acting on m2, we can figure out that force. Uh, the force is equal to uh, m1, m2, over r squared, times g. But if I want to know just the strength of the field, or basically how any mass out here will be affected, what I do is I actually end up, I divide this by uh, m2. So if I divide this by m2, and what I do to one side I have to do to the other, uh, what I'm left with is this concept of gravitational field, which gets the unit g, uh, little g, or I guess symbol little g, uh, is equal to m1, which is the mass of the thing that's creating the field, over r squared times g. Now, the units on this are not force. The units on this are newtons per kilogram. Now, why is it called g? Well, if you think about it, g is actually an acceleration. A newton per kilogram is a force divided by a mass, and force divided by mass is an acceleration. And what gravitational field strength tells us is it tells us how a mass in a gravitational field will be accelerated. So anything in Earth's gravitational field will be accelerated at g, 9.8 meters per second per second, as long as we're near the surface of Earth. Uh, if we're uh, around some other object, some other planet, some other body, then it will have a different gravitational field. And we can reverse this picture, and we could say, well, what about the acceleration of this object, m1, because it's in m2's gravitational field? Because m2 has a gravitational field as well, and so this object is interacting with m2's gravitational field. Well, the only thing that changes is what mass is creating the field. And since this mass is much, much smaller, its field strength is much, much less, and so the acceleration of this object uh, is very small compared to the acceleration of that object.